माय नेम इज डॉक्टर कैलाश मंत्री आई एम ए लाइफ कोच एंड ए मेंटल हेल्थ कंसल्टेंट वी आर सिचुएटेड इन इंडिया मुंबई मोर देन हंड्रेड मेंटल इलनेसेस वी आर क्योरिंग विदाउट मेडिसिन एंड मोर देन हंड्रेड फिजिकल इलनेसेज ऑल्सो वी आर क्योरिंग विदाउट मेडिसिन ऑल द मेंटल इलनेसेस इफ यू गो थ्रू गूगल यू विल फाइंड ए कॉमन लैंग्वेज दैट दिस डिजीज आर नॉट क्योरेबल बट दे कैन बी कंट्रोल टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन अस्थमा एंड अबाउट अस्थमा ऑल्सो इफ यू सर्च ऑन गूगल यू विल गेट द सेम मैसेज कि दिस इज नॉट क्योरेबल बट अस्थमा कैन बी कंट्रोल देर आर मैनी मेडिकेशन फॉर अस्थमा ट्रीटमेंट एंड इफ द सिचुएशन एग्रीवेट्स यू नो इनहेलर इज ऑल्सो हैंडी for temporary relief if you find the causes of asthma the common language is it is not known my research says that causes are very clear the causes are 80% psychological and emotional and 20% causes of physical and all this 20% physical causes if you go deep into it the root cause of all these physical reasons are also psychological now we are very confident that asthma is curable and it is not a lifelong disease Now let's discuss what could be the psychological reasons fear suppressed anger introvert nature diplomatic person hypocrite person person who wants to hide more than talk person who is nervous stress anxiety insecurity tensions and there are more than 50 reasons why one gets asthma attack normally children get this attack but there is no age bar even adult at the age of 60 could also become a asthmatic patient but normally children get this disease and it is often often get this disease and more than 10 15% children get cure also by the time they reach the age 25 and it is also seen ki children who have got the problem of cold cough and who are lazy lethargic and not doing much of exercise they get this asthma attack very frequently it can be categorized categorized as asthma attack only if it comes at least 3 times a year otherwise once in a while people who cry excessively they also sometime are the victim of breathlessness now let's understand when a person could be said asthmatic and in what are the symptoms we see in a person or a child and we can say this is an asthma attack so let's see what are the signs and symptoms of an asthma patient there is a shortness of breath chest tightness and pain in the chest coughing or wheezing sometime there is a respiratory virus also a sports person who is doing excessive exercise can also get it asthma attack can occur few times a day and or few times a week depending on the person asthma is a condition in which your airways either get narrowed or get swelled and produce extra mucus this may cause breathing difficulties and can trigger coughing wheezing breathlessness or shortness of breath now let's discuss the physical reasons the first and the foremost physical reason is lack of oxygen either the person breathing is very shallow or he is staying in an area where air quality is not good second could be you know cold and cough if the person is suffering from cold and cough for long you know he is inviting asthma attack smoking can also aggravate pollution can also aggravate and sometimes the kitchen fog can also disturb and trigger asthma attack now let's discuss the psychological symptoms of children who has got asthma attack these children are found restless violent suppressed anger anxiety and the families which are very strict dominating not giving freedom to the child over protective over possessive parents separated parents and parents who are used to shouting and yelling at each other or at children sometimes parents who have anxiety their children are the victim of asthma attack a financial difficulty with the parents can also trigger an asthma attack in the children now let's discuss the latest research on what are the facts of asthma and what are the myths about asthma these myths are once upon a time were thought as facts so let's first discuss the myths the first myth is that it is hereditary or genetic which is not true the latest research says it is neither hereditary nor it is genetic second myth is ki over the period 
asthma patient will get cured by their own which happens only with 10 to 15% children third myth is nobody dies of asthma so people take it very casual in the initial period next myth is asthma patient should not do exercise medication and inhalations inhaling machines are the only solution overweight people are more likely to get asthma again not true asthma has no cure again it is not true now let's come to the fact you will be very delighted the first fact is asthma is 100% curable now depend how old is your asthma if it has come recently it can get cured in minimum 10 days and maximum 30 days if your asthma is more than 10 year old it will take minimum 100 days and maximum 1 year to get cured 100% a 10 day trial treatment can remove all your all your doubts that asthma is not curable we are 100% confident that asthma is curable 100% we have got review videos also but these videos are in hindi you can ask us for it 40 crores people all over the world that means 400 million people or all, all over the world are affected by asthma 4 lakhs people die due to asthma every year there is no age bar for asthma attack but children are more likely to get asthma than other age people mostly young children get the asthma smoking can attract asthma it can aggravate also asthma medication and inhalation are useful only in emergency and if you use it over the period it gets difficult to cure asthma and here the law of attraction works anything which you are into habit of using even though it is of no help to you but still you cannot leave it because of fear because the moment you try to leave it you know your mind gets trigger ki i am leaving the inhaler now i am leaving the medicine now again the attack will come again the attack will come again the attack will come and it comes asthma is the most chronic illness in children and the studies are very much disturbed people do die from asthma attack so let me sum up the root cause of asthma is either psychological or emotional and more than 80% reasons are this only we have developed a very transparent test we have named it as mind mapping test there are more than 500 questions and the test is given by the patient himself and within 20 minutes the patient is also clear the root cause of asthma and we are also clear that what is the treatment which has to be given to the patient now we have started an online program also you need not come to our center it's a minimum one month course and you can see the difference you can see the progress within one month of treatment also But let's discuss the home remedy which all asthma patient has to do it as a ritual pranayam second is you know taking steams regularly third is taking hot tea hot water and the next is hot food the more heat is generated in the body the less is the asthma attack now let's discuss what food to avoid and what food to take by an asthma patient let's first discuss food to avoid dairy products all dairy products including milk bakery products all bakery products bread biscuits cakes third is oily and spicy food next is smoking next is saw food like tomatoes chilies spicy spicy food now let's discuss what food to take one more list on food to avoid is soft drinks and any cold storage food now let's discuss what food are good for the asthma patients so let's conclude the temporary and emergency treatment is pranayam which has to be done for a long time medication and inhaler has to be always be handy once again i say asthma is now curable and the progress can be seen in our one month program also and it is 80% psychological and 20% physical behind all the physical reasons there are psychological reasons and we are 100% confident of helping asthma patients thank you